Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at some vintage best lock Model B exit locks. And as you can see, i got plenty laid out here on the table to mess around with today. So this pretty much represents an entire building that has been salvaged for these locks, uh, including the spare parts and six brand new units that are in the boxes underneath all the spare parts. So with these, I'm going to give you a rundown of the operation and touch on a few of the maintenance things that went into keeping a facility with these installed running. So let's get started. So what I've gone ahead and done is selected these three units to show you the different variations that have existed over the years. So just like modern emergency exit locks, if it's unlocked in an emergency, it sounds an alarm. So this unit is older, probably from the 1940s to 1950s. This uses a wind-up mechanical bell on the interior, so there's no battery. You wind it up and then it sounds and winds itself down after it's been activated. This is newer from around the 1970s. This uses an electromechanical horn in there. It's got a 9 volt battery. This also uses a 9 volt battery, but I've installed the glass in it to show you what it would look like. But I'm not going to be activating this one because I don't want to shatter the glass. To give you an idea of what these would look like if they had the glass installed, you can see it's got the emergency exit brake glass and then the strike in the middle. So let's get to the fun part and set these off. So I'm going to start with the older unit with the mechanical bell and then move over to the unit with the horn. In both cases what you're going to see is after I strike the lever you're going to hear the alarm go off and you'll see this latch retract back into the device. It'll go back in there pretty violently so I do have to warn you if you do get your hands on one of these things Keep your fingers out of it, because it'll probably take your fingers off. They're very difficult to activate, and when they do, they really snap back. So let's start with the bell. And what's nice about that one is it does reset itself, like the bell shuts off. Uh, unfortunately, the unit with the horn doesn't shut off, so I'll actually have to open that up and reset it myself. I'll show that on video. So now let's move over to the device with the horn in it. So I went ahead and disconnected the battery out of the horn unit and opened both units up. So now you can see the inner workings of both. So now I'll show you how to reset both of these units. You can see that in both cases the latch retracted back into the unit. This is where it was the strike hammer came down and activated it. And later in the video I'll show you more on how these actually work. So to reset you just got to push this piece back into place. Which is actually a whole lot more difficult than it looks. So for the horn unit. There it goes. And for the bell unit, just like that. You can see they obviously didn't use enough oil in there. It's only like flooded. But anyways, now if you had authorization to exit the building through the emergency door and it wasn't an emergency, you would simply insert the key. Strike handle goes up, the latch retracts, and on the outside you would lock it back up again and the handle returns and the latch relocks the door. So these are two halves of incomplete units that I'm going to use to show you the inner workings of the device so you can see how all of this actually works when the device is activated. So luckily the interior of this one isn't as greasy as that other unit. 
So this is the unlocked position or the activated position. As I showed you to reset it, you push forward this bar, the springs pull against, and it latches it into place. Then, when this is pushed down by the strike handle, it activates, the springs pull it back into position, the bell activates. So, don't ever do this. Uh, if you do come across one of these, because you could really easily get your finger caught in there. But that's how that is activated by the strike handle. So this is the rear of the front of the unit, showing the mechanism for unlocking and locking it without actually activating the unit. So there is no lock cylinder installed, but if there was, the cam from the lock would come push on this piece, which raises the strike, and then the cam would return around the circle and turn the other way and push on this piece, which returns the strike handle and the latch to its original position. So these devices were manufactured by Best Lock Corporation and they were known for their interchangeable core locks meaning that you could remove the core from this device replace it with any other core you wanted. They're all universal, they all fit together so you can easily change which key opens what device. So for example I have all of my locks the Best Lock Model B locks all keyed the same but let's say I wanted to change the original lock that I installed in here to a different core. So you would take the control key for the original lock, insert it, remove, take the control key for the new lock, insert it in, a little tab on the side opens which allows you to insert it insert it back into the cylinder and remove the control key and then you have a brand new lock with a different key than the original so that's great for if you want to control who has access to what areas very quickly or if you want to remove access from a certain person so as we near the end of the video if you guys have any other questions or want to see something else on these locks you can go ahead and leave a comment I think I've covered pretty much anything anyone would be interested in uh, none of these are for sale, uh, despite, you know, I got a few of them, but I got some uh, sentimental attachments to these because of where I got them removed from and all that. Um, thank you for watching.